I wanted to do a bonus video about reading and writing files in C. So before we were reading one line at a time or one character at a time. And reading one character at a time certainly will do the job, but you're going to find it's very slow uh, for certain types of disks, like a floppy disk. That's because every time you're reading one character at a time, the operating system has to go out and read that one character, return it back to the program. Then you read the next one character, so the operating system has to go out and get one character and come back. Uh, so it's it's not as noticeable on a hard drive or if you're running in a virtual machine because a uh, virtual machine certainly is running off of a virtual drive and that's very, very fast. But on a floppy disk, on an actual floppy, that's a very slow way to do it. You will certainly notice the fact that you are reading one character at a time. A faster way to do this is uh, using a concept called buffers, where we read a whole bunch of data into memory at one time. We deal with that, and then we read the next bunch of data into memory uh, to work on that. And that's that concept, as I said, is called buffers. And it's another way to read and write files uh, in C. So let's take a quick look at how to do that. So um, just to remind ourselves, the uh, uh, the type command that we're working on, um, the um, uh, just to bring that up, the FD type uh, 2.c uh, was copying uh, from uh, one file pointer to another, and it was doing it one character at a time. Right here, it was reading one character until it hit the end of file, and then it uh, just put that character onto the next file pointer. Uh, one character at a time. Uh, as I say, that's going to be very slow if you're going to be running this on like a floppy. Let's go ahead and quit and uh, let's um, let's copy uh, that FD type 2.c. Uh, we'll call this one FD type 3.c. So let's do uh, let's edit that file and let's modify uh, this copy file function to uh, read a bunch of data at once and then write a bunch of data at once. And so to do that, we're going to have to have a buffer. So uh, we're going to need a, a character buffer, which is really an array. So we'll call it a buffer uh, and it's an array. What size do I want? I'm probably going to do like a 200 size buffer. Um, and uh, as I read uh, each buffer, uh, each, each uh, buffer of data from the file. I want to keep track of how much I'm reading. So I'm going to need to have an integer uh, that's uh, tracking my, my buffer length. Um, now, uh, anytime you uh, put in a hard number like 200 in this case, uh, it's probably better practice programming wise to, uh, to use a parameter. Remember we talked about parameters like when we we're doing with pi uh, much, much earlier in the programming series. And we did that with a uh, define statement, uh, whereas before we did like pi was like 3.141.5926, right? All that stuff. Um, but here we want to do, uh, we'll do one called buffer size. And we're going to call that uh, 200. So uh, uh, rather than putting in 200 down here, I'll actually use buffer size. Uh, now, how do I copy the contents of my file? Well, that happens right down here. So copy the file. Uh, I want to do a while loop. Still want to do a while. And um, let, me, let me fill in what's inside the while in just a second. What's happening inside the while is I want to read from the file. And I'll do that with a new function called fread. Uh, I'm going to read a file uh, into a buffer. And uh, how big is each thing that I'm going to be reading? This is very similar to when we did uh, malloc, and we're, we, we had to tell the function, uh, the malloc function, how much memory it should hang on to. Uh, you're doing a similar thing when you're reading uh, with buffers. So we need to say uh, how big is each thing that we're going to be reading. Uh, each thing is going to be a, uh, a character. So we need to say size of care. Uh, and then how many of those are we going to be uh, reading into? Well, the, as big as my buffer is, which is buffer size. And where am I reading that from? I'm reading that from a file, call, a file pointer called from. Uh, and how do I know how much it read? Well, 
um, the first couple of times I read the file, if it's a big file, uh, I might be reading um, an entire buffer at once. But at some point, uh, I'm going to not be reading the whole uh, buffer. I'm going to be uh, reading less than that because I will run out of file to read. Maybe I've only read a couple of characters. So I need to know, it's very important to know after F read how much data I actually read. And it's going to return uh, how much data I actually read. And you're going to use, by store that in, uh, the uh, the variable uh, uh, buffer length and now that it's uh, read that buffer uh, a simple thing for copy file to do the copy file function is now write that back to another file and just like we read with f read we're going to write with f write and we're going to write we're going to write the buffer and how big is each thing? Well, it's going to be size of a character. Um, I'm going to be, uh, how many things is going to be uh, writing? Not buffer size, buffer length. Uh, and I'm going to be, where am I writing that to? I'm be writing it to a buffer, or a file pointer called two. When do I know that I'm done? Well, it turns out uh, there's a function you can use that will test if you've hit the end of a file yet. So I want to do that up here. I want to test uh, if I have not reached the end of a file. And I do that with a function called FEOF, right? That tests if the file has hit an end of file. EOF stands for file. Uh, and what file am I looking at? I'm looking at uh, the from, because that's what I'm reading from. Uh, and that's all we need to do for copy file. We've just now modified uh, copy file, so it's not reading uh, and writing one character at a time, but it's actually reading an entire buffer, uh, and then it's going to write that buffer back. I'm using a parameter in this case because uh, I can choose to change that size. I could I can make it smaller. I can make it 20. Uh, I can make it 2,000. Uh, it allows you to uh, sort of tune the uh, performance of your program just by changing uh, one parameter without having to go through and hunt all the times that we used um, uh, 200. Uh, because if I'd kept 200, well, I would have had to mod update it here. If I, didn't, if I wanted to change the length of that from 200 to 2000, I have to go and find that one, and I have to go down here and find this one where I put in 200. But I'm using buffer size, which is a parameter, which means it, I change it once and it changes it everywhere. So that's the only uh, change I'm making is rewriting my copy file. Go ahead and save and quit. And now we're going to do uh, I16 GCC. Turn on all warnings. We're going to write this out to FD type uh, 3.exe. Compile the, the file FD type 3.c. And if I haven't made any errors, it comes right back. And now I can do uh, FD type three on some file. So what do I want to read? Well, I could do that uh, that output.txt. Right, that's a very simple file. Uh, one buffer at a time. Uh, Two hundred. It only had to read it once. Uh, if I did a longer file like uh, FD type and the actual source code for FD type uh, 3.c, right? It's going to do that. So uh, this is a much better way in terms of performance to be able to read and write files by uh, reading an entire set of data into a buffer all at once uh, and then writing it back to disk as one buffer at a time. If I want to do some other type of program, I could uh, manipulate stuff inside that buffer. Uh, so that's a, a great way to uh, in improve the performance uh, of a program by just using buffers rather than reading and writing one file at a time. And so that's it for this uh, bonus video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, before I go, I just want to thank everyone on Patreon. Uh, you really do make this channel happen. Some of you have contributed to my Patreon at a higher level, and I want to recognize you here. Thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, and that's it for this video today. Uh, you can uh, visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.